All right, so for breakfast, we're gonna be having 7-Eleven, which is just near our accommodation. So let's go there right now. All right, so we're heading to 7-Eleven now. And as you can see, it is a rainy day today here in Osaka, Japan. <laughs> but we need breakfast and we need to eat. We haven't eaten anything yet. So first stop is 7-Eleven. Doesn't matter if it's raining or if the sun's out, we're gonna eat, let's go. Everyone has like umbrellas and we're just here like struggling. We do not have an umbrella. All right, we're here. First convenience store of today is 7-Eleven. Let's go. Oh, how much are they? $13. All right, I guess we're not getting umbrellas. The black ones are $13 because it's bigger. But the clear ones that everyone has is cheaper, $5. Grab a basket. There you go. So there's 7-Eleven here, it's pretty big. Some of them actually have seats and tables for you to eat at, but unfortunately this one is on the smaller side, so there's no seats. After we get our food, we're gonna go back to our place and that's where we'll eat the food. And also, it's really cool because in all of the Japan 7-Elevens, they have anime stuff. You're in Japan, obviously, <laughs> you'll find anime anywhere. So there's yeah. like anime toys, there's manga, there's anime food. <laughs> yeah, every, everything is here, which is really cool. It's like a small supermarket. So right here is the ramen aisle. And then they have your alcohol aisle. If you're into that, more ramen. And they got their frozen foods. Look at this. Ooh, that looks good actually. Frozen udon. Cool. They even got fried rice and they got ice cream. Whoa. Dandy Ooh, chocolate. Yeah. That, that looks, looks so really good. good. So this is the good stuff right here. This is the rice and noodle bowl aisle. What are you getting, baby? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think I'm craving noodles because of the weather. They have rice bowl with pork and egg. So many varieties of food here. Yeah. This is rice, rice bowl, bowl with beef, egg, vegetables, and gochujang. This actually looks very good. Since the weather is kind of chilly, look at this. They even have udon. Udon in a bowl. So cool. I'll probably get one of these. So these are the drinks that they have here. So they got the beers, they got like juice right here. I'll probably get me one of these, like check this out. Blueberry yogurt drink. We definitely don't have that back home. So I'm gonna get me one of these for breakfast. Their coffee aisle, there's so many here. That black coffee, latte, anything you want, they have it. This is their tea aisle. So they have green tea, of course, here in Japan, they have some matcha, so good. These are items that you find at a bakery. This is so cool. So they have Castella with caramel syrup. They have cream puffs. Of course, matcha. What is this? Rice cake and red bean. Matcha Bavarois. Bavarois. They got Victoria cake. Matcha with cream. Cake. Matcha chiffon cake with whipped cream. Chocolate waffle. Then I'm gonna get some ramen. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so we're back at our place and here are all the food that we've got. Gotta heat it up quick. You can actually microwave it at 7-Eleven as well, but since we have a microwave at home, we just decided to do it here. All right, so we're back at our place. This is all the food that we got from 7-Eleven for breakfast. So let me start off with what I got. So for my main meal, I got the rice bowl with pork and egg. Check this out, guys. I've actually never had this before. All right, so the drink that I got is this blueberry yogurt drink right here. Ooh. 
course for my dessert, I got myself pancake with red bean paste and whipped cream. That sounds so good. I also got... You got two main dishes. Yeah. Got me an instant ramen right here. We'll open it up here in a bit. And this one is red salmon and salt onigiri. So it's seaweed and rice with salmon. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh. I also got Japanese fried chicken. Let me open this up. It's kind of overboard, but I also got two liter of water to push down all the sodium that I'll be eating today. Oh, I also got some Japanese style fried chicken right there. I got the udon with tofu. Obviously, I had to get soup because it is raining outside. I That's all she got. <laughs> For dessert, I got the white chocolate waffle. Wow, so that was really interesting. And then for my drink of choice, I got the peach tea soda. Finally, it's time to eat. No more talking, straight to eating. Let's go. All right, so that's 7-Eleven like back home in Canada. It's super basic compared to what we get here in Japan. Yeah, because it's like in, all sandwiches. Yeah, because back home in Canada, it's just like, I don't know, maybe they have like some fried chicken. Oh no, fried wings and sandwiches. Slurpees. And slurpees and I guess for you guys, that sounds pretty damn good. Japan just takes it to a different level, you know? So here's mine. Oh wow. It smells good. That's good. That's I've really been good. loving peach here because they have a lot of peach flavored things in Japan. They do, huh? Yeah. yeah. So I've been really loving peach lately. All right, so I was looking for my rice. I was like, why is there no rice? But it's actually at the bottom and you have to lift this up and there's your rice at the bottom. Check that out. That just looks so good. So for mine, I was like, where's the soup? It's actually the same thing. So the soup is underneath. It's at the I don't bottom. Know if you can see that. I don't want to like spill it or anything. But oh, yeah, it's underneath. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. Oh, dude, that's so good. Look at that. Katsu. Yeah. Mm. I give this like a 9 out of 10. Mm. The flavors there are really good for what you get from 7-Eleven. How about really, you? Really, really good too. So this is tofu and usually tofu doesn't really have a taste. Yeah. But this tofu has a lot of flavor. I was not expecting that. Alright, let's give this a try. Oh, ASMR. Oh, wait, what? What? They have what? Yeah. Wow, it's the whole thing. So they got four different packets inside this instant ramen right here. So you got your powder, you got your freeze-dried pork katsu or pork bacon piece right here. That's crazy! Yeah, and you get seaweed. Yo! I have no idea what this is. What? Oh, it's like the... It makes the broth like fatty. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. So it's like... Oh, crap. So Ichiran. Two dollars, not too shabby. We'll let that sit for a few minutes and we'll give it a try afterwards. You didn't try your drink yet. I'm gonna try my blueberry yogurt. It comes with a straw too. Look at their straws. It's like you pull it out to make it longer. Yeah. There it is. Bam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Good. Oh yeah, that is delish. Was mm. it like milk? No, it's legit like blueberry yogurt. It's like what we get from Costco back home in Canada. Mm. That is yummy. I'd be so good if it was like really cold. Really cold, yeah. It was really cold, but. All right, so we'll try my salmon onigiri right here. It's kind of messy, this one, not gonna lie. I'm sure there's a proper way to opening this, but I did not read the instructions, so. Oh, this is not it. This ain't. That ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't the way. <laughs> Look at this, it's like a, a rice burger. Is that how you eat it? Mmm, look at that. The salmon's inside, wrapped around with some rice and seaweed. That's basically it. All right, so I think our instant ramen is good to go. There she is. Ooh, for two dollars, let's give it a try. Can we have a bite of your chicken? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> that is really tasty. And it's like actually like fatty. Wow, that is tasty for a cup of ramen. Look at that. Alright, so you wanna open yours first? Yes. Oh, that smells chocolatey. Oh my 
gosh, that looks really yummy. This looks like something you would see in a bakery that's like worth seven dollars. Ooh. And then in the back, it's like chocolate. The waffle is chocolate. Try it. Oh. First. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't wait for me. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, fine. Let me open it. Ooh. Oh, look at that pancake. It's so soft and fluffy. Ooh, look at that. The red bean with whipped cream on top. And of course, this fluffy pancake. Cheers. Yours first. Take a bigger bite. It took like a nibble. Don't be shy. I don't really taste the... Um the white chocolate as much as I taste the waffle. So I think the waffle itself like kind of overkills the white chocolate. Don't but see. But still good. It's still good. Wait, I don't taste anything. <laughs> it's very light. Um, all I taste so far is the red bean. Uh, red bean has a strong taste. Yeah, but it's also very light. It's not too sweet. You know, pretty good. Looks interesting. Yeah. That's why I got it. I'm like, wait, mm -hmm. what? I've never had red bean with pancakes and whipped cream in it before, so. All right, so that wraps up breakfast. So we'll see you guys for lunch. This time we're heading to Lawson. All right, so it is now lunchtime. The rain finally stopped. It's still kind of gloomy, but we're here now at Lawson. This is where we'll get lunch. Let's go in, let's go. gonna go light because breakfast was kind of heavy and we want to get a lot more for dinner so for lunch we got Lawson we didn't really get too much for lunch because we were still quite full nothing too crazy for lunch I got Today. He went light, huh? <laughs> so for lunch, I got me the fried rice noodles. In the Philippines, it's basically pancit. Right? Fried rice noodles with shrimp. I also got their clubhouse sandwich. This is super like Western. No, but it's it, Canadian and yeah, I I was craving something different, but it's just chicken, egg, lettuce, and some sort of mayo. But for my drink though, this caught my eye. It's milk water. <laughs> Like what? What is milk water? It's probably like milk and water. <laughs> I wanna try it though. I went super lucky because I had a big breakfast. I don't even know what this is, but I've seen it served as street food. It was really interesting that they had it at Lawson. And then I also got sushi rice with salmon. So it's basically just a salmon nigiri. And then for my drink, I love the peach tea soda so much that I got another one actually. Oh my God. So for all of these things, we paid around $18. That looks really good. It's basically like pancit in the Philippines. So just noodles, perfectly cooked. This is the sushi, no, what? Yeah, sushi rice with salmon. I think this like green thing is like seaweed wrapped around it to keep it together. That's so light. Yeah. Okay, let's try this milk water. I've never ever had this in my life. I don't even like milk. It's watery. I don't you even like milk? Yeah, so I don't know why I got milk water. That's really watery though. No, it tastes like Gatorade. That's not too bad. It's like kind of sour. It's refreshing though. So they had different flavors of like sandwiches. They had like teriyaki chicken sandwich, but I went super basic. I'm feeling this is going to be really sweet. 
Yeah, let's both try it at the same time. Ooh, look at that. We've actually never got this when we were trying out street food in yeah. the market. You're right, they do have this yeah. everywhere mm -hmm. in the street. Let's do a try. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it's called, so if you guys know what it's called, let us know. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like... It's like dough. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. It's dough with like caramelized sugar. Yeah, there's literally nothing inside the white part. It's just dough. Mm -hmm. That's yummy. Yeah. Lawson, for example, check it out if you're ever here in Japan. We'll see you guys for dinner. All right, we're here. Family Mart. Alright, so Family Mart is basically the same concept as Lawson and 7-Eleven but they do have different things This is their hot aisle, so they have hot coffee. That's so cool. Yeah, it says right here. They have hot milk tea. Yeah. Wow, it's hot. It's so good. <laughs> they even have a packet of beef stew. All you have to do is microwave it and put it on top of rice. Thai green curry, meatballs with bamboo shoots, shrimp and spicy chili sauce. Oh, and they got some soy sauce, pan fried udon. So I feel like they have a lot more interesting desserts here. So they have a no big cheesecake. And you're gonna love that. A souffle pudding. That looks so good. Yeah. Double cream puff. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. And a French bun cake with whipped cream. Got some twist donuts at their bakery aisle. Their bakery aisle? Yeah. It's so, so good. They got some chocolate buns, so I'm guessing that they have chocolate inside. Look how perfect these buns look. <laughs> Looks like pan de sal. I think you'll like that. That looks like bubble gum. No, it has some type of like chocolate in it. Though. Maybe bubble gum chocolate. Anne's favorite ice cream is bubble gum. It does not look like bubble gum though. Really? All right, so we got our food. Everything's in here. This was roughly $20. So let's go back to our place and we'll go eat dinner. Let's go. All right, so we're back once again. Family Mart got some good stuff. What'd you get, baby? Since it's dinner, I got a bigger meal. It's a pork cutlet bento. Yeah, let's see, let's see. That's a big meal, babe. Yeah, there's noodles. Oh, there's, yeah. So rice, pork noodles, and a side of veggie. For my drink, I got the Kyoto lemonade. And then for dessert, I have ice cream. You can't read this. It just It's just blue ice cream, and it looks like it has chocolate bits in it. All right, so that's what Anne got. I got me a Dorito. Mexican taco flavored Doritos. So I don't know if you can get that in Canada. I don't think so, I've never had it in Canada. So I had to pick it up. It looks really good. For my main meal, I honestly had no idea what it was, but the picture looked really good. So it had like beef, 
tofu, carrots, and mushrooms. So I think it's like a beef stew. What I love about convenience store here in Japan is that they have rice packet. Cook white rice, baby. I noticed all of the convenience stores here in Japan always have fried stuff. So I went in and got me another fried chicken. <laughs> For dessert, I got me the no baked cheesecake. Look at that. And for the drink, matcha cafe. Or, no, no, no. I think that's the brand. <laughs> this is ma a matcha drink. Just looks so refreshing, so I had to get it. It's a very nice shade of green. All right, let's eat. All right, so I opened my stew up. I got beef, tofu, and a little bit of vegetables. It smells pretty yummy, not gonna lie. My bento box actually came with sauce. Jan already put in a bowl. Can I have some of yours too? Mmm, sauce. Give it a try. No, obviously, it's a bit soggy. Mmm, it's not crunchy anymore. Yeah, it's still really good. Mmm, the sauce is. It's so juicy though. Mm -hmm. Juicy and the flavor is, is there. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mine's stew. Put it on my rice. Put some soup on there. Give it a try, boy. There you go. So, white rice and some beef stew. It smells really light and. Oh, I like that. It's very fatty, flavorful, very light as well. Mm. Ta da! Give it a try. What is this? No, it's some sort of vegetable. Mm. Mm. Even just the vegetable itself is like, it's really good. It's good flavor, huh? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna give my. Japanese style fried chicken I try right here. Oh, it's hefty. She's a big one. <laughs> it's so big. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's oil. Yeah, your lips has oil on it. That's juicy though. Mm. Wow, that's yummy. This lemonade's so refreshing. Let's give mine a try. Right, let's give my matcha drink a try. Is that coffee? Is it like a latte? Very matcha y. Bitter? No. It's like sweet matcha. I think you like that, babe. Oh, it has like a little kick to it. Yeah. yeah like an aftertaste. Like a bitter so matcha yeah. taste, you know? It's like sweet and then bitter. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's left is dessert. I forgot about my Dorito. Mm, smells like Mexican food. Oh. I can smell your breath already. It smells like tacos. Even the smell of it. Yeah. It's like when you go into a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Mmm, kind of does taste like tacos. How they do that? Stop playing around. Let's get to the real dessert. My no baked cheesecake. Ooh. Wow, that whipped cream looks beautiful. Check that out, boy. Wow. Oh my gosh, I feel so fat today. Look at all that whipped cream. That means yes. It's a yes. That is so good. That is so good. That's my favorite dessert mm. so far. Like The whipped cream. From today. Wait, did I get the cheesecake? <gasps> I taste it. It's good. It's so yummy. It's like not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in the spot. <laughs> That's good. That's some good stuff. I'm still curious as to what this is. We're going to figure it out with you guys. I think it's oh, bubble it's gum. But. I know what it is now, but I'm gonna give you a spoonful and you tell me what it is. Let's see if you can guess it. See, Anne knows what it is right yeah. away because she loves I love ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, you like that. That's some weird stuff. Yeah, but what flavor is it? It's mint. Yeah, it's chocolate it's mint. It's chocolate mint. I knew it. You love that flavor. Yeah, I used to get this all the time as a kid. It's not my favorite, but it's still a really good flavor. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. Yeah. Alright guys, so I guess this wraps up the video. We're stuffed right now. Mm -hmm. I think after this, I'm gonna just take a long nap. I'm gonna go into a food coma. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we definitely ate way too much today. But you know what? That was fun. No and that regrets. Was... No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs>
in the back of my head, I'm like, maybe there is regrets a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's where we end the vlog. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!